Hello friends, this video on sexual reproduction in flowering plants part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we spoke about all the pre-fertilization events, that is how the gametes are formed, uh, the male gametes and the female gametes, how gamete transfer takes place by pollination. So now the male gamete and the female gamete are formed, they are together for the fusion to take place. So now we will see what happens during fertilization. So fertilization in a flowering plant. So what did we see? This is the structure which you see here that is the female reproductive part that is the pistil. And the pollen grains have reached here. They have formed the pollen tube and the pollen tube takes them inside the ovule that is the embryo sac inside which you have all the eight nuclei. So now we have to see what exactly happens during fertilization. So two male gametes enter into the cytoplasm of synergid. As I said, the pollen tube enters into the synergid, right? In the previous slides, I told you that pollen tube will enter into the synergid. And how it will enter into the synergid? Through the filiform apparatus. So filiform apparatus will help in the entry of pollen tube. So when the pollen tube enters, what is there inside the pollen tube? There are two male gametes. So these two male gametes are then released into the cytoplasm of the synergy. So where is the synergy? This one cell is the synergy. So if you magnify it, this is one synergy. So the two male gametes are released inside the synergy. Now what will happen to these two male gametes? Now one male gamete will fuse with the egg cell. So what will happen when they fuse? The result will be a zygote. So zygote will be formed. Now this male gamete is haploid. Egg cell is also haploid but when they fuse together zygote is formed and this zygote is diploid. Now this zygote will lat later develop into an embryo and the embryo will give rise to a new plant. So this fusion of the male gamete with the egg cell is known as syngamy. So gamy means marriage or union and syn means together, synchronization. So that syngamy is the fusion of the male gamete with the egg cell. So that is one thing that happens. What happens to the uh, second male gamete? The second male gamete will fuse with the polar nuclei. So where is the polar nuclei? This is the polar nuclei, the middle one. You have two nuclei, right? So they are the polar nuclei. So this gamete will fuse with the polar nuclei. So what will be formed now? The male gamete is haploid. This polar nuclei are also haploid, each of them. Correct? So you have total three of them. So as a result, primary endosperm cell is formed. So the cell which is formed that is called PEC or primary endosperm cell. Now what will be the ploidy of this PEC? Here three haploid nuclei are fusing together. So it will not be diploid but it will be triploid. That is it is going to be 3N. That is triploid. Right? Okay. Now this PEC will later develop into the endosperm. And what is endosperm? Endosperm is that part which provides nutrition to the embryo. So embryo needs something like the zygote will develop into embryo and the embryo will gradually grow to form a seedling, then uh, a plant, right? So for that it needs nutrition and that nutrition or nourishment is provided by the endosperm. Correct? Okay, so what did we observe that inside the embryo sac there were total 8 nuclei or you can say there were total 7 cells. But out of that how many are utilized? Let us magnify the picture of this part. So this was the embryo sac inside which you have 3 cells here. These were the antipodal cells which were located towards the chalazal end. In the middle you had the polar nuclei and this side you had one egg, this was the egg cell and you had two synergies. Right? This was the internal structure of the embryo sac. Now when fusion happens, one fusion happens with the egg cell. So the egg cell is done, so it will form zygote. Another fusion happens with the polar nuclei. It forms PEC. That is also done. What happens to these antipodals and the synergies? 
they all degenerate. So the antipodal cells will degenerate, the synergids will also degenerate. So what will you be left with? Inside the embryo sac, you will be left with the zygote and the primary endosperm cell. So gradually the zygote will form the embryo and the primary endosperm cell will form the endosperm. That means after some time, inside the ovary you will have the ovule and inside the ovule you will have the embryo and the endosperm. Right? That is what you will have later. Here we come to one of the very important terms that is double fertilization. This is often used to describe fertilization in flowering plants. Now why do we have this term double? That is because just now we saw that there are two fusions which are taking place inside the embryo sac. Right? We just now saw what were those two types of fusion. One was the syngamy. And what was the other one? The other one was the triple fusion. So here if you see, this is how it enters. This is how you are, this is the polar nuclei and this is the egg cell. Right? Or the, this is the nuclei of the egg cell. So now when the pollen tube enters, so this is one male gamete. This is another male gamete. So this male gamete will fuse with the egg cell. So this is syngamete. So this is one fusion and the other male gamete will fuse with the polar nuclei. So this is another fusion and it is called triple fusion because three nuclei are fusing together. So it is triple fusion. Now since two types of fusion takes place inside the embryo sac, that is why it is called double fertilization. And it is a characteristic of the angiosperms. It doesn't happen in gymnosperms. In gymnosperms there is just one fusion taking place inside. So now once the fusion takes place, then gradually the zygote will develop into an embryo and this is how the development takes place. So initially the zygote which is formed it is a single diploid cell, just a single cell. Now this undergoes repeated division to form a two cell structure, then a four cell, then eight cell structure. Then you see a structure with a globular head, then gradually the shape changes and finally this structure is achieved where you have two cotyledons and you actually have the entire uh, embryo taking its shape and this can give rise to a new plant altogether. So we will look at the different stages of the embryo a little later. Thank you. Please visit www.examphio.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.